In a major success in the anti-terror operations in Jammu and Kashmir, security forces killed three terrorists, including a commander of the Hizbul Mujahideen, in an encounter in Anantnag district this morning. Police say that with Masood's death, the entire Doda district in Jammu region has become totally free of terrorists. Nepal Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli alleged that his rivals were being instigated by India to topple him. This came in the backdrop of differences between the two chairpersons of the ruling Nepal Communist Party, Prime Minister Oli and Pushpa Kamal Dehel. Oli alleged that meetings were being organized in Delhi against Nepal's decision to amend its constitution to include in its map Kalapani, Lipulek and Limpiadura areas. A 26-year-old man from Hyderabad sent a selfie video from the hospital bed to his father minutes before he succumbed to COVID-19, stating that he was feeling breathless as the doctors had allegedly removed the ventilator support. The incident, which happened on Friday night, came to light on Sunday after the video was widely shared on social media. Chest Hospital Superintendent Mehboob Khan, however, denied the allegation that the ventilator was removed. A 72-year-old man who flew into India from Kazakhstan on a Vande Bharat repatriation flight on Saturday afternoon escaped the mandatory screening process and skipped the subsequent institutional quarantine, the police said. He was tracked down to his daughter's house in Ghaziabad's Indirapuram on Sunday, booked and sent to quarantine for 14 days, after which he will be arrested. The Congress alleged that donations from Chinese firms have poured into PM Care's fund in a tit-for-tat attack after the BJP took aim at the Congress for allegedly accepting Chinese funds for the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. The party said hundreds of crores have been funneled into PM Care's by a group of well-known Chinese firms including Xiaomi, Oppo and Huawei, adding that it is most worrying and alarming for national security. The West Bengal government has decided to come out with a sandesh which will contain honey from Sundarbans and increase immunity, an official said on Sunday. Cotton cheese made from cow milk will be mixed with pure honey from the Sundarbans to prepare the Arogya sandesh which will also have extracts of tulsi leaves. The sweet will be available in two months and will be priced affordably.